This video segment will show you how to make this line bender so that you can bend plastic at home. We also have two professional grade ready-made benders which we will show you at the end of this segment. Since this tool uses electricity and generates heat, it is essential that you follow these instructions carefully to minimize the chance of fire or electrical shock. Also, follow appropriate safety precautions such as a dry workspace and never leaving the bender unattended. The line bender kit comes in a box that looks like this. It contains the electrical part of the bender. This is the 36 inch long heating element. This is the power cord which slides together to create the plug. The first step is to create a channel to put the heating element in. The channel should be one quarter inch deep and about three quarters of an inch wide. To create the channel, we will cut two pieces of quarter inch thick plywood, approximately two and one half inches wide. Then, fasten the pieces to the baseboard using glue and or screws. The two pieces should be about three quarters of an inch apart. If you are using plywood as we are here, it is important to protect the wood from high temperature produced by the heating element. For a wood channel, place several layers of aluminum foil over the channel and press it in place. Then, place two layers of fireproof material, such as fiberglass tape, into the channel. You will probably need to staple it down in several places. Now you can place the heater element into the channel. To hold it flat, tie these cords to a screw at either end. Now you are ready to hook up the electrical. The plug comes in two pieces as you see here and is assembled by sliding the pieces together. However, you are still not ready to plug it in yet. There is one last step that is a safety precaution. Earlier we lined the channel with aluminum foil. If the heater was to develop a short or a bare wire was to become exposed, there is the possibility that the electricity would reach the foil. To minimize the chance of a shock, the foil should be grounded. This is easily accomplished by attaching one end of a wire to the foil. A small screw such as this works well. The other end of the wire needs to be attached to a ground. The simplest method is to use a grounded extension cord. You can identify a grounded cord because it has three holes. These two are for power, and this one is for ground. To hook it all up, follow these steps. First, plug the heater into the extension cord. Second, fold the wire back on itself and slide it into the ground plug on the extension cord. To keep the wire from falling out, secure it with tape or a rubber band. Finally, plug the other end of the extension cord into the wall. It is important that these steps be done in order. As a final note of safety, it is essential that you never leave the heater unattended when it is plugged in. The heater can reach 900 degrees, which is easily hot enough to cause burns or start a fire if it comes in contact with something combustible. It is also appropriate to have a fire extinguisher nearby. If these precautions are followed, your line bender is now complete and ready for use. As mentioned earlier, TAP also has two professional grade heat benders available. These come fully assembled and you have the choice of either 48 or 24 inches in length. They come ready to be plugged in. It is sometimes desirable to reduce the heat when bending very thin or very thick materials. So for these two benders, we offer a power controller which allows you to carefully control the heat output. Whichever model you choose, you will soon be enjoying professional results with your plastic bending projects. Chop, chop plastics, look at plastic, plastic
place.